Okay, if we have determined that we have a posterior presentation but with no legs because the birth canal is free of legs and all you have is a tail present, then we call that a true breech presentation. We can deliver this calf but it's going to take a lot of effort to bring both hind limbs up and into the birth canal and then deliver it through a normal posterior presentation. So the first thing that we will do is a lot of times the calf's legs, uh, hind legs, are positioned as such you see here with the entire leg working itself forward and ending up next to the calf's neck or head. It's that far away from you. A second thing to remember about this dystocia is that you may not have a lot of ability to repel the calf back in to give you more room because if you repel the calf back into the uterus you actually take away the limb and it moves further away from you. So what we have to do is work with the bulk of the calf's hind end that's presented into this pelvic inlet and we will slide our hand in as far as we can until we locate the tibia of this calf and then once we're there we get a really nice grip, the thumb on the other side, four fingers on one side, a really nice grip like you're gripping a baseball bat and then once we have a really nice grip what we will do is pull this calf towards the birth canal so that calf will work, that leg will work forward towards the birth canal again flexing the hock as you see here. Once you do that we will come out of the cow again We'll take a break. That would have taken a lot of effort to do. And the calf's leg is then in position for the next set of movements that must take place to correct this. So again, we will slide our hand in, up underneath this leg if we can, off to the side. And we're going to grab a hold of this calf's metatarsal bone here. And once we grab that torsal bone, metatarsal bone, we'll put our mini fingers over it and thumb and then once we get in that position then we'll pull back on that calf gently and slowly and at the same time you're doing this at this point we're going to have to repel the calf's hind end so you're going to take your other arm and you're going to slide into the birth canal and you're going to repel this calf back into the uterus giving us a little bit more room to work. Again, just to stop here and describe, we're going to have a lot of length from the point of the hock to the tip of the toe. This length is going to be longer than the diameter of the inlet of the calf's birth canal. If we continue to pull this calf's leg into the birth canal, we will drive this hock up and if we're not careful, the hock will actually split the uterus like this and that is a very bad thing to happen. It could actually mean that um, the cow will not survive this procedure. So we will avoid pushing that hock through the cow's uterus. How do we do that? Well, once we get a good grip on the metatorsal bone and we're ready to protect our ventral pelvic area by using our other hand to guard against the claw of the calf's feet, we have to do two things. One is we have to drive forward, again repel the calf's leg into the cow's uterus the best that we can and then we have to do this at a diagonal since that's the largest width of the cow's pelvic inlet is the diagonal. We need to take advantage of that length. So as we're pushing this calf's leg forward dorsally, I mean towards the hock forward, we're bringing the fetlock and the feet into the pelvic canal. So again, try not to go straight up and down like this. This will guarantee that you will tear the cow's uterus. You have to approach it at the diagonal and then you have to try to repel the hock to towards the cow's head at the same time entering the calf's foot um, into the pelvic inlet. Now we're going to go in after the next cat leg, same thing here. So we're going to slide our hand in until we get to a point of uh, the tibia. We're going to bring that forward just as we have here. We're going to stop right when the elbow, I mean sorry, when the hock reaches the pelvic inlet. Then we're going to repel the calf a little bit into the cow and that gives you a chance to take your hand down and approach 
the metatarsal bone, getting a good grip on it, bringing that forward, pale this calf, and at the same time we're going to protect the, go under and protect. Again, we're going to try to take advantage of the diagonal, so as we're correcting this, we must pay attention to try to take the calf's hock forward towards the cow's head and at the same time lift up on the calf's foot, protecting it into the birth canal, bringing both back legs into the birth canal. And once we're in that position, we probably haven't fully dilated the cervix just yet, so we must spend a little bit extra time fully dilating the cervix, like with any posterior presentation, that's got to be a critical point to address. Once you finish fully dilating the cervix, you can gently pull this calf out of this cow and deliver it in a posterior presentation.